a lot of people have been telling me to try out um, Ventoy. I've used these kind of tools for a very long time. I remember using them in my day job before I had to give up work. But I used something a little bit different. What I used was called Easy to Beat. Let's take a look and compare with Ventoy. Okay, so I've booted up to my Easy to Boot, and this is essentially same sort of thing as Ventoy. In fact, Easy to Boot can even use Ventoy, and you'll see that on the menu there, number four, right there. So what really is the difference between these two? Well, Easy to Boot comes with a load of utilities and a DOS menu and, and a few other bits, whereas Ventoy, to me, seems to be just a simple multi-boot USB device. Can't tell you which one's better. The one that I'm using here, this is easy to boot, says so right there. So what can it do? Well, let's have a look at the things that we got on here. In fact, let's go into the utilities menu, see what we got. It is a little bit slower than, um, than Ventoy from what I can see. Oh, look at that, memory test. Let's go back to the main menu. Now I've got a few ISOs on here, Endeavor, FreeBSD, GhostBSD, Haiku, Hiran's Boot CD, if, if you've never seen this, that's quite a useful utility, especially if uh, you're trying to troubleshoot a Windows install, it's quite useful. Got Kali there, two, uh, two ISOs, I've got the installer and the live CD, Linux Min Memtest, Net and OpenBSD, Pop OS, Pop Mox, Windows 11. I'm looking at the menu for the DOS. Okay, not much in there. Free DOS? No, no, no. Okay, so let's test this then. So we, I'm just going to boot up FreeBSD's ISO. See what happens. So this is straight from, from a USB. Let's see what happens. Well, there you go. It's booted straight into it. Now I have got Ventoy on another USB stick. So we'll try that in a minute as well and just see how, how different they really are. Well, there you go. <laughs> Fantastic start. It did say it might not like the USB for the FreeBSD. Hate it when it does this. Yeah, for some reason it's not booting using UEFI. I'm not sure why. Pretty sure Ventoy did. There we go. Okay, so what I will do then is I'll try Hiran's boot CD because that's just going to boot into a Windows 10 install. Live CD, I should say. Let's see what happens with that. This, this might actually be based on Windows 11 now. He may have updated it. Because it looks like it is. Yeah. PE Windows 11. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's have a look at what's on here then. Cool. So you've got your command prompt. Network manager. I'm not going to look too much at this. I just want to um, check a few things. Yeah. So you can troubleshoot your devices. Now, interestingly, the boot CD said it couldn't find any internal disks. So let's have a look. Well, it's certainly there. Okay. So we know it works. Let's shut that down and let's swap to Ventoy and have a quick look at that. Like I said, not an in-depth comparison. I just wanted to show you what I used to use. And I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I think compared to... Hiran's boot CD uh, compared to Ventoy and so Ventoy has booted into UEFI straight away whereas easy to dis uh, easy to boot didn't so that's good now I don't have the same ISOs on here I've seen the tools what's in the box temporary control blah, 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 blah. UEFI utilities screen display mode resolution configuration honestly this is a bit simpler which is a good thing, I think. Let's try booting into FreeBSD. I've got it there somewhere. Let's see what happens. Now the other one, well, the other one just didn't get past mounting the disc. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, but that happened. Let's boot to the disc again. Let's try a different installer. The next mint, maybe. Yeah, this happens now and then. If I change the USB port, it then works, which is very odd. 
mash those buttons. Right, let's try that again. There we go. Right, so, uh, the next mint. I expect this to work quite normally. Linux Mint, one of the more simplistic Linux distros. Very easy to install and get up and running, which is what I mean by simplistic, not that it's a, a don't go there. Ow. So this should bring up Linux Mint. Here we go. And of course I can install from there, which I'm not gonna do. Yeah, so that works fine. <laughs> Anywho, so that works lovely. So Ventoy is much more simplistic, easier to use, much more friendly interface. The other one has a easy to boot, has a what I would consider to be an old fashioned interface. And we will boot back into it in a minute because I can't remember what's on this PC at the moment. So from my experience so far, what do we know? We know that both versions have a bit of a problem booting FreeBSD there for different reasons by the looks of things. Say la vie, that's, that happens, I guess. Not too fussed with that. Okay, so that was the next minute installed on there, fine. Yeah. So let's restart. Boot straight back into Ventoy. I didn't really want to jump on the Ventoy bandwagon. But it is much more simplistic. And I can put all my tools on. I could put on Memtest 86. I can put on Huron's Boot CD. That's no issue. And I probably will. Now see, that's quite good. Not sure how that's a 43 gig ISO. I bet it's 4.3. Doesn't make much sense. Oh no, read it properly, Gary. 1.17, 2.43, four, right, thank you. <laughs> Plonka sometimes. You Plonka! Anyway, so, yeah. That's quite interesting. So this is based on Grub now. Yeah. So Ventoy works apart from with FreeBSD and I bet there's a reason for that. What more can you really say about it? It's free. You can download it. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link in the description to Easy to Boot as well if any of you want to have a play around with that. It does have some nice features and it's worth looking at. Um, but if you want something simplistic and that can get you going pretty quickly, Ventoy is probably the way to go. So I think I will use Ventoy. I'll just dump my ISOs on there and and play around that way. It's certainly easier than burning a, a, a disc every time. If you find it useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and like and share. All of that. All down here. Down here somewhere. Here. It's free. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye bye.